everyone. Um, last night when I got home, a scripture understanding came to me, and uh, that one I wrote down. I'm going to <clears throat> begin to write them so I can. I said I was going to get up this morning and do a full study and put a video out, but again, I got off like I do, <clears throat> so I just want to say a few words. In every word spoken, there is <clears throat> what's seed with the eye, perceived with the eyes of man and what's perceived with the Spirit. <clears throat> Most men believe people only see the outward. And even in the scripture, they only see the outward word. They do not see what the Spirit is saying. In the case of the blind man, when the learners, I like to call them learners because they was learning, and that's what they was, the learners, and that's the, <clears throat> the true word used was learners, not disciples. Of course, they did follow, but they was learning from him. I guess the, no, no, that's a whole other story. They ask, why was this man born blind? Who sinned? This one, or was it his parents? And there's something to note in the answer of, of Jesus there. Neither did this man sin, nor his parents. But that's another study too. <clears throat> but that the works of God might be manifest. And to those who only see the letter, they only see that this man receives sight of his eyes. But, the, but that's the, what the Spirit was speaking. Because that man did not look on the outward. Because if you're looking on the outward, that's carnal. You're not able to receive the things of the Spirit. So by his blindness, he was not perceiving with the perception of man. It was faith that he believed. And he wasn't only made physically able to see. His faith was made him able to see the things that are not seen. And that goes on a whole chapter, maybe longer. That's how I studied this morning. Um, the whole chapter, it goes on. There is so much more than what you hear in the letter. I mean, if it was just the sight of the eyes, of the, the physical, the flesh, there wouldn't have been need to speak so many things. And it is so hard to explain. <clears throat> What's written behind that letter? <clears throat> In the carnal letter, there's a message to the carnal. And you know how I go to the Greek. The spirit testifies to what is written in the Greek. There is a spirit testimony behind that letter. It is a teaching behind the letter and it has taken I mean I'm getting better at understanding and you know so hard to say you wouldn't believe what's behind the letter because all people look at is that carnal that's all they see he was made he was made his eyes was made to see but what's written in the Spirit, there's dialogue. There is a testimony being spoken. And it is hard to give. So, you know, I think that best I can do is just give little pieces of what the Spirit says and, you know, what the Spirit is showing in these words. And the, um, 
because there's a carnal testimony and a spirit testimony. Looking to the, through the eyes of the world, you only receive the carnal. You have to be blind to see the things of the spirit. Um, maybe I'll, I'll try to go on and see what else I can bring forth from that. There's like a dialogue going on beneath the letter. The letter... <laughs> if you see only the letter, you... You suffer loss. You're not receiving the things of the Spirit. For, for all have erred and come short of the glory of God. There was another scripture that just came to me. Um, the air is in the flesh. The air is in the carnal mind. So you have not heard the fullness of the Spirit. And because, but you know, I'm not going to go into all kinds of stuff. I did, that's just what I wanted to say. But that's how that happens. Like, you know, last night when I came in, and, I, and Steve actually let me describe this to him. I said, just let me tell you one way how it works with me. Because it happens to me all day. That's how the scriptures, when they come, you, it'll just click and you'll see the spiritual, you'll see the spirit testimony. And it just makes so much sense, and you know, it wasn't the that was the works of God, the works of the Spirit. It wasn't that He has made to see with His eyes the works of the Spirit. It was because He could not see that He was able to see. They missed the whole point. Uh, that was the works of God, that he was able to see the Spirit. I hope someone can grasp that. Um, that's all I say for now. May the peace of our Father be with you and keep you. Much love to you all. Bye for now.